Oh, there's a bit confusion over the life. Let's see what they're going to do. There's a bit of mis miscommunication about a lot. And we got um, our things gun. We see a standard setup for immortals as well. And we uh, hypersonic seems still a bit confused over what has happened in the few minutes left. Alright, let's see. Now it's gonna be get done. Um, we see a standard setup. We see the bomb moving slightly towards underground as well. And um, the making up seems like an A push right here. We got some prison in middle and some prison towards A. We got a lot of thing. Let's see if. Oh, we got a free pick for Hyper X Sonic right there. Terminating was so uh, confident now by the about covering was oh he, Nick he, terminating is taking people through smoke he love it smoke is his friend oh uh, let's see we got the um, Briserino hiding in the corner trying to do things for his team you see a person C can't connect his shot sadly but Tony sure they can shut him down. We got a lot of things right now. We see Immortals take the first round and therefore have the big big advantage as it's not their Mac paper, Mac map pick as well. So this is gonna be a good game for now. We got Terminator covering the middle with his eco jaws. We will see the terrorist actually setting up for A push again, a fast one, straight eco push. And it's getting cleaned up by those SMGs. So that's an easy swipe for them. Let's see, oh, they're bringing out the big guns now. We get uh, to see an AK stuff and Gali mixed up. So they can have some utility as well. And apparently, Brisa doesn't w like the bomb that much. Hmm, seems like they prefer to go towards A a lot. As they have been hitting that side all the time. Oh, he's dipping in palace. Should be heard now. We see smokes, I think. Are we going to see the smokes? So we got, we got five guys here. They just got a little flash, so they get ready to get in. Let's see if how Giza can hold this with his pronoun. He get once, get a lot of damage in, but get taken down. Oh, and they take the side, but not without, not for free. They got a lot of damage onto them, and this is still against the SMGs with a full buy. Oh. Half full by with AKs and gullies, so the Sphinx are not looking too bad for Immortal's side. But let's see if Hyper Exonic can hold it down. Getting in some e kills through. Oh, can I get no? It only gets dropped, and we see it end into two one. And now we should have. Maybe we'll get a real. We we'll see a good a buy coming out, but no. No op for Immortal side. And we see a tech 9 only for one of the players on the Hyper Exonic. This is gonna be interesting. No wait, he got a gun. It was dropped for him. So this is the depending round because anyone sh except Raben is low on money. And we see him terminating get Terminator getting an easy kill there. 
We see a, like the, maybe a fake ape. We can see the rotation already coming in from um, Immortals, but it's actually going to be with B, but they actually left the player. And it seems like it paid off because they saw the bomb as the first thing. It seems like Immortals are shot hanging hyperx on the ground. For good. Let's see if they can find the last player without losing anyone. Oh, they lost one and lost. That's sad. So we might have another eco for... Or maybe Vapen will drop some tech nines for them. Let's see what's gonna happen. It seems like they're going for full eco. Maybe a rush somewhere in hope of getting the bomb plant. We see them rushing middle for though and losing a player. Oh, he gets attacked heavily with that deagle. Probably through the wall. Let's see, uh, he gets away with the gun as well. That's nice for them. We got four men pushed down and uh, stepping up in middle. They're boosting one into window side. And we have some side out, out front of connect. Oh, we have Tony making the flank through the window or through the ladder room to inside the w window and find two picks. So it is guns against the world and he's down as well. Let's look at the graph and see how they're doing. See, Immortals are definitely taking it a lead right now because they're winning with more people uh, starting building up an economy and Hypersonic definitely need to break them now before they get ran away with too many money. That would be really bad for them. So it seems like we got gonna get a lot of uh, middle control from Hypersonic this round. And we see Vapen on his uh, AVP as he lost. We see Nick finding a player. Just hiding a next to the smoke. We see Gizar uh, hiding a up at the plateau from in outside of Palace. We see Tony getting the frag and we see Vapen getting a frag as well. Rallo taking one down as well. So we are on a t two versus three situation for Hypersonic. Let's see if they can do it all they will save. It seems like they're actually going for the B push, which is kind of hilarious actually. I thought they would save the guns as they got an AVP still. But as we see some of the players from uh, Immortals are low, but Halo is definitely also low. He's short on life. Oh, let's see. Uh, he should definitely back off with his AVP. And save it for the next round. He don't want the Immortals to have it. But he's still slightly pushing. Oh, he's going back. He wants to save his uh, big gun for another round. So, let's see what they're going to do this time. Seems like uh, they're spreading a little out maybe to hit get a pick. Around the map. Oh, they're moving the bomb slightly towards B. Yeah, he's dropping it down, so it might be a B push we got him. They're just standing around to make some picks. We got an AVP as the only thing for Hypersonic this round, so he definitely needs to save that as well. They cannot risk losing it. Right now it's a crowd round, actually. Spree getting a headshot there. I think he could see a foot from him, or something like that. I don't know, really. 
Oh, we're seeing a pick coming out for high back Sonic. Got the Glocks pushing in the side. We see Warpen trying to fall back with his AWP again. He getting a pick. He's trying to run away. Doesn't seem like Immortal. Oh, a bit of mu miscommunication there. Guy still taking a, sh a nade to the face. And we see Giza taking him out with his pistol. And let's see, at the scoreboard, we see Immortals having um, a slightly uh, changing of the scores, like Spree in the bottom with two, Torberg with two as well, and Simon, but we just started. Let's see if Immortals can keep this ruling up, because it's definitely a good favor for them already. But this map is C decided after all. Seems like we can't got a CNA push again. Hmm, they molly molly under the plateau this time. But they still having hard time getting onto the side actually. Because of Immortals well hold way. So we got oh maybe we're getting an opening here. They don't have that much XP left to fight. No, they didn't get anything out of. They got two frags, but th they definitely needed the bomb plant to get some more money for a decent round. Alright, seems like we're gonna see a fast B push with a scout in the middle. And he might meet some enemies now. Oh, he connected a little. A little damage. Seems like we're getting a B push. They are on the side. Two people are still stand down. Getting sh getting down like three to one. Can she works doing? He got an AK. You see if Spree can take him down. Flash in. Shooting around. Misses the shots. She works actually getting it to two versus one. Oh almost there. He got it to he got two picks and made it an expensive round for the immortals. That's good. Seems like we got a slight B push. Oh, maybe a fast B push this time. Sony can definitely hear this, so he is going to knight them down and flash them out so they can't see anything. Let's see how this B push will go. Two down already. They're getting one pick. Two picks. No, one pick. Immortals is com terminating coming to save his friend there. Getting another pick with the AWP. Seems like a clean stripe for almost for for Immortals right now. Um, seems like we're having the bomb moving towards. B no, he actually drop it and they still move towards B. I think they're spreading out for picks. Now, see if we got Arlo throwing a for last and hope I'm get catching someone off guard. Im Nick might find a kill here. He did. Oh, German got caught off guard with his AWP, and now that's in enemy hands. That's that's a very bad lose for them, a loss. Let's see if Wapen can find some kills. Or well, maybe an entry for his team.
they really need one because they need to get around now. He's standing his ground. Oh, he's really getting taken out as well. Tony doesn't like them to getting on the south, so he's definitely going to shut some down. He got two kills, so it's a two on one civilization. Can Torberg do it? He got nine rounds. They have money enough to buy next round. No. He's gonna change position. He flashes, but there's a smoke with a big gap in it actually, so he can probably see. He didn't hit a shot, but the bomb gets planted, and Prince Brissard is setting up with his ADWP. Let's see if he can find him. Oh, he gets spotted up, and they t high packs on they take the round. 9 to 2. See, we see almost a full buy coming out for Hypex Sonic. They got their orb this time. But the uh, Immortals have a full buy. See, having two players towards B, two towards A, and one middle. A standard setup for everyone. So we're getting a more terminating getting a pick on Sovapen. He lost some HP on it, but they kinda can still like three versus five right now. Oh wait. He actually getting a pick on to Spree Rallo. And Guns is taking a pick on so terminating and guys guys have file fall as well to Xerox. Halo taking another pick. So now it's up to Tony. What do he want to do? Save or go for it? It's a four versus one, but most of the team on Hyperx are Nicolo. low. He has 20 bullets in his magazine. Seems like he's going to save. Let's actually look on him. Yeah, he's going to save in the kitchen. Of B side. See if they're gonna catch him out or they're just gonna leave him. Mm, they could actually hunt, they have the money to buy up again. Seems like we got a mortal on the actually their first save for now. Hmm, and they chose to save everything. So we got terminating pushing out of mid with three others mate, they left A alone. They might push off middle to go to T spawn. Oh if the bomb goes that way now they might catch him off guard. Oh he hurt him. Turnbeard actually getting a nice frag and got himself an AK and taking another one. We got three sneaking up but got caught. Actually terminating is another one hiding and they don't know he's there. He can definitely call that it's A now. So the remaining teammates with non with weapon uh, weapon and uh, pistols are actually going towards A. It's a two versus four, and the models definitely have got themselves some weapons now. Guys are falling. We got warping in the three versus one. He knows someone is behind him. He wants to plant, but he knows he's surrounded. He finds some kid. Opening pick, so it's a two versus one, but one is coming from CT, might catch in off guard. Oh, this is a close run. Oh, he gets naded out. Turn back to take the kill with a nade. And that was a nice warriors with pistols only. Almost at one rifle for Tony. So we got terminating on the AVP again, and we got half hack on yeah, an eco round for second last round of the of the halfway. 
See Rick's getting caught out. He actually did not did any damage to them. Oh, we got a highlight. Tony doesn't have a helmet. Which means he can get one shot from almost all of the pistols. See if they're going B. No, actually rotating back to A. Which is a nice call for them. As the enemies has retreated to cover B for now. And they still know someone is up there. So they actually think it's still B. But they should definitely know now it's just they rotated A. Oh! It's getting caught off guard. It, and suddenly it's a 2 versus 3. German getting attack until Brisa. Tony finding the planting guy, so no plan for them right now. But now is the question, can Bizarre Rhino do it? Or will he get shut down? He obviously chose to get shut down. Seems like last round is gonna be greatly contested between the play the two teams. As everyone is having a good weapon, but there's a big lag of utilities on the hypexonic side, and Nick might, or terminating, might find the first pick here. As he's about to meet Rallo. Um, we see. He might have got the info Rallo. We might find himself bizarre here. Oh, we have two PS come up. Are he getting caught out? That's not that good. See, it's a four versus four, but this definitely fi Oh, I was the first. I was very too fast. Bizarre getting two nice frags there. Evening up the score. Or almost making them lead, but it might change. Yeah. So we have an equal score, but Tony got a heavy tag until him, so he's 6 XP left. It's last round, so they need to contest it. Molotov coming out for bot side. Aralo actually standing in it, losing some XP. 6 XP, let's get it on him. It's the dream. They should have heard him now. He's gonna smoke CT. Let's see if it will help him. He doesn't know where any is, and he should be taken out. And there you have it, the first halfway going in the way of 11-4 to Immortals on Hyper Exonics map pick. Let's see if Immortals got any plans for the CT side. Or oh, Terror side, my bad. Seems like they're going for a terminating with a tech um Rig 9 or should I say Tech 9 and armor as well as a heavy guy with big gun. There's a lot of fight in the middle going on. Terming just rushing through to maybe ca catch someone off guard in the CTs. He didn't find the kill but he definitely put a lot of damage on. Might find this pick. Yeah, he find it. So we got a free on free situation. But Tornbjerg is heavenly attacked. Two XP left. And with Tony getting caught out. Let's see if Termin can do it for his team. It's a two versus one. He knows someone is defusing. And he's going for him. So it's a one versus one now. Wapping gets the hit yet. But does he have time? There's no kid on him and the time is going on. Let's see if he can get it. He doesn't have it. So Immortals taking the first round. Which is pretty bad for Hypaxonic. As they lost. The important thing. So we're seeing a... F 4 spike coming out from... Hapike Sonics to try evening up the score. Let's 
to see if they will recognize. Like, Immortals are going through the uh, middle fast. They're finding a pick on Norello. They got the mid control to choose. Seems like they will go A. Metro can cast them completely off guard here if you get the right angle. Oh, that's a nice Deka shot. Seems like their plants are actually falling apart for Immortals right now. So Hypersonic should put them back to a good eco. Or death or bad force. Seems like they're going to force up this one again as well. Take nines. And a and a, a single AK and a single Mac 10 is coming out. And otherwise just pistols. And we see Hypersonic getting the good weapons up like FAMAS and two SMGs. So we have three heavy weapons and two slightly slight weapons. See they're waiting for the smoke to go off so they can rush onto the side it seems like. They're slowly making their move. So they're running through the smokes. Some get it picked off. Oh, we got one getting a FAMAS and the bomb is planted as well. So that's a nice thing. Oh, we see two picks coming out. So that's a pretty good save. Or oh, a good eco. I, oh, sh I don't know if it's a good force buy, but it would have been a good eco if they only had tech nines. But it's nice to see them bring back the game. And not just see a slaughter. So we got a eco round for Immortals. And a full buy for... Uh, a force buy for... Uh, Hypersonic. Seems like they're going towards B. Again. Oh wait, we have someone crawling into the ladder room. Oh, that was a good nade. So much them and deal with that one nade. And we got onto the side again. Two people actually there. And someone. Oh, the weapon got in take out. Easy return frag there. He doesn't allow the bomb plant this round as well. Oh, that was a nice tag. Straight headshot, but unfortunately, it didn't kill him. Let's see if he can do some thing. Shooting some randomly through the smoke. We got full AK lineup against the FAMAS, one AK, and AWP. Oh, we're getting two picks for Immortals at the same time as well. That's very nice for them. Now they have a definitely have the best chance to take this round. Seems like the pigs are going all the way through to Immortals Pharaoh, but they got a frag down back. Now it's a free on one civilization. Let's look at the money real quick. Uh, our save is our him because it's a free on one and he, they don't have the money to do this. But he's getting picked. So now they're on a full eco, a CT side. Oh, not full eco, but they have very spread money, so that should maybe be a famous buyer. Or a slight, slight, slight investment. Let's see if Immortal is getting any pick this time. I don't think so.
Oh, oh, I missed the shot. Sad for him. Oh, Tony finding a pick down in the tunnel. We're getting Bizarre finding a pick and Xerox as well finding a pick, so it's free on four civilization in favor of the CT in favor of the CTs. It seems like they're going to middle with the bomb. Might go short to B. Yeah, they're going that way. We have a pistol over there. That might be the deagle. No, it wasn't. But he got a nice headshot and tag gears are very heavenly. Which is very really nice for them. Terrace taking the round, making it 14 to 7. And they CT have has to win this round if they don't want to go to overtime. They're having a big mountain to climb now, and I don't really see them coming back into this map. As everything just was against them in this map, sadly enough. Hey, wake up! Oh, we're getting the frags pick or the pig's chip trading. Seems like Immortal have made this round pretty good for himself. Immortals having a good stand right now. Three versus two. Oh, two versus two. Hypex two versus one. Hypex Sonic might take this round, saving themselves. Which is pretty nice of them. Sound resumed. Microphone activated. Hello. Hello, Bongo. How devil are you? We are online. I just. I know. I can see that. I'm watching. Hypersonic doing well. I see. Uh, no. No, <laughs> Mortal's uh, pretty much dominating this match. Uh, not dominating, what I say. Most of the rounds have been really close. Is this, like, this is the first map, I do believe. Yeah, it's the first okay. map. And this is Hyper Exonic's pe pick as well. Which really? make Which make me kinda... Kinda thinking, what are they doing? Well, Immortals have had a lot of time to, you know, figure out what they need to do. Yeah, so. they have had a lot of time to... Uh, to do what they want. And um That's right, I'll do it the easy way. Connect to the server. Okay, but then you're ahead of me just so you know. Oh, is it go TV? Yeah. Right, uh Let's see we see immortals getting some easy picks in the middle as Hypexonic tried to rest them down with some SMGs. And um, we see it. Like, we have one on B, two on A. As they try to maximize the defense. And the Zebra is getting heavily attacked. Getting dropped. We're getting one pick. It's a 4 on 1 civilization. And that should be game. Yeah, I'm he getting the nice one tap there.
Mirage. Well, <sighs> I just killed him. They can hear you now. Ah, people can hear me now. Okay, awesome. Hello, Kid Vicious. Hello, people of the world. How is everybody doing? I'm just waiting for my you know, CSGO to actually work. That'd be great. I'm changing map to Inferno now. That's oh, okay. CSGO doesn't want to. It just shut down completely. <laughs> it just doesn't uh, like you. It doesn't like me at all. And we're waiting, waiting for the yeah. players to connect. That's right fine. Much. You always have that lull, don't you, where... You tried to log in and something goes wrong, or you're waiting for the players, and the people are like, when's it gonna start? Well, when they get here, basically. Uh. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. And we're waiting for the players to connect to the server and. For me to get on, because you know me. Yeah. There you go. Right. Go all the way so now slow. I'm but, yeah, I know. I, it, it's one of those things I can't help it, right? Leave me alone. <laughs> Not my fault. It's always your fault. So how are you getting on then? Come on. Huh? How are you getting on with casting? Are you enjoying it? Mm. Not easy, is it? No, it's not easy. I never said it was easy. Uh, I've been doing that a few what, few years, so... Yeah, you have a good advantage. Initializing world. Come on, load. Do something. Mm. Yeah, I could have been playing quicker than this. It's waiting mm. for the players to connect and for the delay as well. So people can uh. cheat. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got a massive delay now, haven't we? Like 120 seconds. We got two minutes delay from the GoTV. Two, go two minutes? Yeah, from the GoTV. So Twitch's not getting bothered by that. Ah, that's good. I'm okay with this. Yeah, because that's normally trolling Twitch. <sighs> so we got the bots on now and Spree yeah. as well. Yep, bots are on. And uh, we got Spree connected, and we got Gizar connected. Yep. Let's see what bot Dave is up to. If he got something in mind. He extra pick up an AK, and might go for a kill here. I'm just watching Gillespie, just, you know, walking in. I'm watching Bud Dave going for the win here. <laughs> Bud Dave? Yeah, he finds it, but he didn't connect the shots. And died. Come on, Dan, you can. No. The models, uh, we've got Breeze, uh, Formberg, Spray, Gillespie, one Hyper Exonic, we've got Xerox, Gonzi, Vaprin. Like, it's really hard, they keep changing their names. It's very Yeah, irritating. it's hard to keep up with who's who. Yeah. Bot Wayne. Like, I really want to take control of Bot Wayne and go k start killing him, but <laughs> probably, yeah, I'd probably get in trouble. Uh, you can't take control of it. Yeah, I know. It's not fair. I want to. Right. A couple of players left to uh, spawn in, and we will be on the way. God knows what they're doing. I don't want to know. Yes. There we... Nope. I see a lot. I got all excited. So, we've got... Have we got all of... No, he disconnected. Oh dear. Right guys, I do apologize by the wait. We're just waiting on uh, the players to get in and sort themselves out. They are just doing a bit of practice. I am not actually uh, doing the cam work or anything today. This will be all bongo. As they've got our line sometime. Yeah. So, let's have a look. It looks like we're just... No, Xavier. Bot Dan and Bot Xavier. You know, these these two trolls. Yeah, and but Dave is actually trying to be serious here. Yeah? He got the out going through the middle, pushing to get an info from his team. Oh, this is practice. This doesn't even matter. Wait, but Xavier bought Dan killed killed Gillespie. Oh dear. <laughs> Just but we need to we need to actually make sure that um, Gillespie gets took the piss out of constantly for this because I've got no problem with this. All right. I've got no problem with it. Dying to a bot? Okay. So, two minutes on the warm up remaining. Uh, we've got everybody in, that does, I do believe. Let's see. We got it. No, we're just waiting we, on bot We got Dave. everybody in. We got everybody. Are we, going, really? we got everybody. Right, we just wait for them to tell themselves that they're ready. Which oh, well, would be great. We, well, we, we can't. We cannot do like this today because the e bot side is down. 
Oh yeah, Ebot's down and we're having to use GoTV. But nonetheless, it will be fun. Yeah. So, Mirage was taken by Immortals. It's currently, the, the score is currently 1-0 to Immortals. Hyper Exonic are your terrorist side, depending on who wins the uh, knife, of course. Yeah, and we got the knife. We do? Yeah. not started yet. Oh! Yeah, it's not started yet. It's going to go. When? Um, I'm just waiting. Yeah, we know. Oh, there's still bot Xavier. Oh, God. We're still waiting on for one person for um. Trust Gonzi to take a Dragon Law. When did he get a Dragon Law? Uh, trust doesn't have it, it's a uh, Termining. Oh, a of course, Tomings. Toming would have to go and buy himself a Dragon Law, wouldn't he? So, what are we waiting for again? We're waiting for them. We're waiting for someone to XL the server so we can get the knife round on the way. Yeah. Right, are we are we good to go? We not kick the bot? <laughs> well, it's not live yet, you can see people shooting still. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, that's the problem right now. Wow. But it will be handled now, I think. Yeah, that. I think the restart is coming soon. Warm up, uh, armor, warm up 15 seconds. Five seconds. Are we good to go? We hope so. God, I hope so. Hallelujah! We are... I press the tab button, everybody's in, and we've got a bot on each team. 6v6, OP, yep. Yeah, it's fine. Nope, it's getting started now. Hey, it's getting started now. Damn it, I thought the bots were going to have a dead day to shine. <laughs> they will never. Timing, you do realise you'll get kicked from the server doing that. Uh, I know, he will never realise that. Toming actually plays for a hyper exonic, just so everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, clearly, you know. So I'm sort of wondering what's going on, the round started. Why are we not doing anything? Because right now we're going... Yeah, the round started. Yeah, <laughs> this should be the knife. Right. So let's see how this knife will go. I actually think, um, I think, uh, I will favor Hypersonic to take it. Really? Yeah. The decoy's coming flying onto them. You gotta get that one point of damage, you know. Yeah, the harassment of decoys. The, the Trading knives. <laughs> as you do. Oh, Breeze is looking to go. As the, the trading continues, nobody wants to start the knife. Here we go, and off they go. And oh my god, what did I just witness? Oh, well, that went fast. <laughs> wow! So, don't do it. Ugh. So, Simon's like, if I run away, I'll be fine. Guess what, son? Get wrecked. Right then. <sighs> Looks like they're going to switch. And, uh, hyper. Wait, what? The mortals are going to stay? No, like. Remember what they need to doing it the hard way. What are they doing? Like they, they didn't realize they got ready up, right? Yeah, they realized that, but like we really also need to like do a lot of other thing. Okay. Yeah, okay, so, um, that happened. Yeah. <sighs> so
see, it's weird because when they're like they're all buying niggas and stuff, like, come on. <laughs> Shooting his teammates. Now, of course, uh, is this just practice or are they literally fighting? They're not fighting. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what's going on? Should we start the match, perhaps, so I'll, we can move forward? I'll see if I can. Thank you. That'd be great. Finally! Sorry. We are live! Sorry about the wait, guys. They are using GoTV for the first time rather than um, Ebot. No, is... that's not right. The eBot side is down, so we're using the in-game commands to do this. That's yeah, totally fine. Right, let's ride on board Hyper Exonic. I'm on Don's. Uh, it does look like this is going to be a... A, execute. And Jay, now you can click C, so auto-directing is on. I'm on it. I know. I don't have to do a damn thing. Riding on by your timing. Same as me. I'm on Tornberg now. Um, he seems to be the front man. You gonna play entry? We pull it back to timing. Seems like they're gonna. I like the wait. fact that they're just sitting there waiting, not rushing. Chicken comes down. Chicken doesn't spook him. Back turn to dark. Oh. Shots get fired. They got spotted. Breeze there. knows where he is. Breeze is gonna pick up one. No, we oh. got down. <laughs> no, he's gonna still there. And Breeze gets dropped down. They're onto the site now. One hitting up the library. One on arc. Just be picking up. The USP is gonna go for long range. That's a beautiful USB, just for the record. Timing. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. They don't see him behind the. Oh. Um, oh, Tony up. behind them. Tony from behind. He's, he's getting two easy picks. Kill. And Immortals Esports pick up round one. Pistol round goes to Immortals. Great indeed. Very nice. No plant, however. Not that it's going to matter. It's just 300 bucks. For 300 is 300, man. It is 300. Is Every it... penny counts. Didn't your mother ever tell you this? Is right. It... Looks like uh, we are going to head on to. I do believe this will be a center to banana, maybe? Mm, I just think they're trying to see if uh, they rush. Let's have a look at the buys. We've got Mac 10s, MP7s coming out on the side of the malls with CZ, Deagle, and P2000s coming out on to. Oh, no, it's 250, sorry. Coming out on to Hyper Exonics. Elizabeth, making his way through the library. Bornberg. We see, um, what is that room actually called? We see it getting molotoved, so they cannot stand in there. We see Rallo having a good Oh, spot. picks up the bomb carrier, Rallo. Moles has got a check, who's second? Double, Mac 10 going down, it sees one in pit. Glisby, oh, Glisby gets dropped. As we hold off, Tony picks up. So we got a free worst. The kill two. on. Oh my god, it's 1v2 now. We've got to be careful. The mortals are going to pick it up. And oh, Hyper Exonic take the round. So 1v1, they can pick up the MP7, save themselves some uh, money. Uh, only one of them were picked up. That was a bit of a shame. That was a bit silly on the side of uh, Hyper Exonic. They could have saved themselves a lot of money there and going into it with their opponent's weaponry. Would have been uh, great indeed. Uh, right on board Xerox now, coming out to Banana. Let's have a look at the map. It looks like we've got a split timing heading out towards A. We've got a Banana push. Tech 9's being brought. Ray looking for one in mid. However, Tony waiting for the call. I think we've got a B push him. And I think it's going to be a fast one as well. I don't know about fast, they're still waiting. Yeah, but I mean, when it's gonna happen, they're just gonna be on the side. Yeah, and, and Xerox doing the correct thing. Molly's going back. There's the, map, the second uh, flash. Third flash coming out. Uh, Gonzo picks up one. He picks up two. Is he gonna pick up three? Xerox has to play. Does pick up two? No, he doesn't. He picks up the one. We've still got one onto site. Riding on board the dead body because you know why again? There we go. Let's see. Tony, he they've got the bomb plan. They got a good decent. De Pretty slight force by, so that's a pretty good round for them as well with two kills. And they might get more. Rally are looking down banana. He's a teammate, knows one's in dark. He does now, there we go, he knows where one is. Oh, the, the oh, crossfire. Got to pick it up and the second one goes down. Oh, Tony picking up. 
And there we go, Famas being brought on the side of Immortals. Well played by him. Great the, play by him. The money doesn't look that good for Havex Sonic this round. Nah, 3.4151529932. AK is being brought by Toming and Glisby and Tony. Riding on board Tony now. Uh, or Bomb Boy, because he wants to jump around in sight. Yeah, so that was important to see, you know. Oh, we see a fast headshot for Gl for Glisla here. On so what, what did you call it? <laughs> Gl 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 to me, he's going to always be Glizby, no matter what he plays. Uh, looking for picks onto woodwork through from Car. Uh, Former going to flash it out. Uh, Spree going to get flashed out there. Yes, indeed. He tries to look away. Not quite enough. Seems like the standoff is happening. Hypex Sonic is just Timing. holding Timing. Looking for the point. Looks, looks like Vespin's going down. Time picks up the kill. Xerox is going to go down. They didn't look in the corner, didn't check the corners. And that was very costly. Now we've got Gonzi looking for one, looking for two. Doesn't get the second. Uh, Morton Tome is going to pick the one on Arch, and there we go. Immortals pick up that great uh, second round by them. Only losing two, so they kept three AKs on the side of Immortals. Let's now the money's definitely looking dire. Let's see if they can do the buy round now. They have to. Else they're going to be on a double eco again. Yeah, I mean, for, I, I, I'm not sure losing that one. They picked up the, set, the, the one beforehand, so the money shouldn't be this low. It should because but they... it's not that they're trying to keep continuously going for nades and also getting up all the flashes and stuff and that's not something you need to do. If it's going to be you're going to force it in, don't try and do a full force. Try and get yourself just a weapon. If you're going to die, fine, you're going to lose something, but it's not going to be all that bad. Uh, they are looking into dark. Time and looking for a pick. I like this. No rushing. Seems like we had a standard set up for both teams. Mm -hmm. Three A two B. A standard uh, routine for the tourists to see if they can get a pick somewhere. I mean, looking into dark. Gonna try and flash it out. Doesn't see one. No one's in there. Spree looking for a CT push. Oh, oh gets the shot picks through, up the hitch. through the smoke. Oh, but Gillespie goes down. And I'm always gonna call him Gillespie. However, does he gonna rotate out? Bornberg in mid. He's gonna drop the bomb. Oh, okay. Toming Immortals, maybe. Oh, Xerox. Bit of a mess here. Xerox now. They know where he is. And gonna pick up one. He finds one at Fountain. Picks up the bomb carry. Can he get up for a second? No, he can't. He gets dropped. And that is the bomb carry down. Is Tony going to back away? No, he's going to. I don't know about it. If he gets the bomb plant, this is a win for him anyway. Ah, oh, now they've seen him. Gonzo knows where he is. We're waiting for the nades coming in. One goes down. He's looking for the push, and there it is. Boom, bang, zoom. Hyper Exonic pick up this round. Picking it back up. This is going to give him that much needed money. And of course, AK is being picked up all round for Hyper Exonic. Great round that time. And I've always liked um, Xantos' uh, Rust Coat knife. I think it's lovely. I think it's a very nice knife. I think it's a little rusty. Really? You went there? <laughs> That's the best you could do? It's a, you think it's a little rusty? <laughs> oh. Let's look on the map. It looks like it's going to be a s Tony taking up to second mid. Uh, we're going to have a push from Try mid, second mid. Uh, two in banana. Try and look at the money. It seems like they went for all force by him. To try yeah, we've got tech nines. We've got a scout coming out on to um, spray. AK's all around on the other side. We've got AK, 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 Famos, and there he is going to pick up one. rallo has got to try and do something. There. It isn't going to be enough, and that's going to put another AK in the hands of Formberg rather than the, uh... Oh, Tony's trying to do something sneaky. Xantos picks up Tony. Seems he's like going to look for a second one. Oh, he gets push. a second kill onto Tony. Now he's got to back off back to Banana. Oh, the flank is picking coming. Up. Yeah, the flank's not going to be enough. One coming in from CT, he's really low. One kill, boom! Hyper Exonic saying, yep, that's fine, whatever you can do, we can do better. Welcome to the game, boys. Free, free. Hyper Exonic free, Immortals free. So, Jay, do you think Hyper Exonic has what it takes to take this to the third map? I would very much hope so. I really want it to go to the third map, because we've never actually had a third map, and it's very annoying. <laughs> Which, by the way, what are the videos? What was it? It was Mirage, Inferno, Mirage? Was the first map, and that yep. was uh, Immortals picking that one. No, Hypersonic picking that one. Then we had oh, okay. uh, 
Inferno coming out, which was uh, Immortals pick, and then we had the, the Decider SD Dust 2. Oh, God. Really? Dust 2? Yeah. They picked Dust 2? You know what? No, I don't want it to go to Decider now. I don't want it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> God. Train and Dust 2. My brains. Well, the last three maps that were backs were Cobblestone, D Dust 2, and Train. Have oh, Sonic oh. removed Train and. Uh, co and what is it? The Immortals m removed Cobblestone. And then Dust was the. Oh, we've got a pick! Right? Oh my god! The Rhino picks up one. We're gonna get Tony with a plant. One on site. Ralio trying to defend against two. He knows where he is. Headshot's gonna come in from Ralio. He's gonna go pull bang zoom. You are out of this room. Three looking for. He's got to be very careful. He knows he's on site. What is he doing? He's. Xantos now. He's going to have to rotate round. They've got. They haven't got the time. They need to push now. And Toming sitting right down there. He sees him. Where's the shot? There it is. Boom. Xerox goes down. And it's just Tony here. We've got one coming in. There's a smoke. This is where the. This has got to be really dangerous for him. He's just going to back off. And you know what? I think he can get some exit frags here. No. They no. Know, Spree's they going to die. That takes another gun out of the hand. And Formberg takes quite a lot of damage. Unlucky, but Mortals pick up the second round. Or should I say the seventh round? <laughs> Let's look at the score, but what do you think of it right now? I'm quite happy with it. Both teams on equal footing. Um, let's have a look at the buys. We've got four buys coming out for both teams other than Xerox, who's gone with a smoke and a P250. Um... I think right now, this is where Xerox is just going to run around behind and look for what could be done. You should just gather information. Yeah, gather information. Uh, see where the opponents are. See if you can spot Bob Carrier. Nate's coming into the banana now. Trying to get out sandbags. Isn't going to do anything. Uh, Rhino looking for apartments. Homing and Fallbug in mid. Wanting to push. Not sure quite yet. Rallyo. Now we've got to mid push him. Now we've got a flash. There's the flash. He's going to get the flash, but it's not going to be enough. Rhino needs to fire. Rhino picks up one. Can he pick up the second? He's firing into the same place. Where's Fate? There it is. Boom. He goes down. Problem is, Gonzo. You know what? Spring and Tony, I think, can take this if they're careful. Because there's the nades, and he now knows where they are. Boom. One's going down. He can get if he can get something. And there it is. It's not going to be enough. Tony, all the way out. I don't know. It's going to be picked up. He picks him up. Well done, Xerox. That was lovely. And he's going to get himself a gun. In fact, he's going to pick himself up an AK. And that's two AKs salvaged that round. So that was much better. So, 4-4. Four, four. This looked like a pretty equal map for both teams. Yeah, I, I quite like this. This is a very nice outcome. However, it looks like you're going to have Tech 9 flashes and nades. This means this could be one thing. And it's going to be a banana push. Uh, Toming and... I do believe Tony pushing up um, towards A, but they're gonna meet head to head and boom, boom! Oh my God, Toming picking up that, picks an AK into his hands. Um, he can push out onto A, maybe push through into mid here if he's careful. Oh, he doesn't realise he could have pushed out there and had a kill. Um, he's just gonna back off. Let's ride on board. Uh, where's Tony? There he is. They're going to push through the smoke and check CT. Are they going to check CT? No, they're not going to check CT. Now they are. And there's the flashes. One on site. The smoke is coming for CT Zero as well. picks up one kill. And there it is. We've got to get it. I can't believe they're going to hold this. They're not. They're retaking Tomin it. Tomin picks up one. Tony can pick up. Oh my god. They are going to hold. No, they're not. Oh my god. Rallyo to the rescue. We're going to look for an AK. There we go. There's an AK. That's what I mean. Like, all the rounds has been really close with one to two members surviving for each team. Yeah, and this is not doing any of the teams any good for their economy. But I like the back and forth trading. I think it's great. It uh, proves both teams are on the same level and it's really good to see. Now, obviously, uh, Hyper Exonic, the blue, the counter terrorists, need to pick up this map to stay in it. Um, last time these two teams met, uh, Immortals won it 2-0. Uh, no. Hyperxonic one. Oh, Hyperxonic one. Oh, he's switching but to the USP. He picks up one. He's going to pick up second. One, two. No, he's not. And this push is it's too delayed now. He's got a fire. Picks up one. Can he pick up a second? The flashes and smokes are coming out. He's not looking. He's not paying attention. Spree with a nice headshot, though. 
Yeah, but he's outnumbered majorly. Oh my god, he gets a double and it doesn't matter. Xerox again coming to the rescue for his team. Uh, drops the M4 for a uh, AK. We might actually see the money start to swing in favor of Hypex Sonic now because they're starting to get getting yeah, rounds. But, but at the same time, look at the buys coming out for Hypex Sonic. Uh, Rhino picking up the M4, that's all his money. Yeah, but down. I mean, like, now Immortals doesn't one around in like two rounds. They have to save now to get a proper yeah, buy. I mean, yeah, this is going to be what, Tech 9 250s, Tech 9 P2000s, what we've got, uh, a smoke and a nade. And, and this is going to be Apartments Rush, and there's the nade coming out from Hypersonic. Doesn't do anything, Elizabeth's a little bit low, uh, not majorly low, but time we're going to look into mid. I like how Immortals actually play like slow, starting slow and then going fast. Yeah, they start slow, look for what pick they can find, and there we go, picks up one. Oh no, now they've given away where Tony going to sneak through. So one way smoke, he's got to be careful. He picks up the kill, that's going to put another gun in the hands of Immortals. Slight problem here. Got to wait for the smoke, we've got to get that shot down. Reloading as you cross, not the smartest idea, Tony, but nonetheless. Uh, Xerox and Varpin. Varpin. Well, he can defend himself when he actually smoked the way, so he Believe could get through. Believe it or not, through. this is actually in favor of Hyper Exonic. This is definitely in favor of Hypox on it. Yeah, yeah with, look with the damage at the, done. Uh, yeah. Look at the health of Toming. Look at the health of Tony. Formberg, if he can do something. But they run out of time. There's one. He's going to go drop down. And they took them both at the same time. And the Immortals pick up a round. And keeping themselves in it. 6-5. We're on to the 12th round now. Um, i got to ask. Right now. Look at the money. It's pretty even throughout the entire teams. On this map, it was Immortals pick, did you say, or Hyper Exonics? Immortals. This is Immortals. Can they be Hyper Exonic on it? That's my question. Because right now, they are trading left, right, and center. Firing into dark, making sure that he can get through. Oh, Xerox just got to let him go by. He picks up one, picks up two. That puts up an AK into his hands. What a great... He should definitely oh. send his mid down after another gun for him. Yeah. And he's going to do that. Yeah. I mean, it was two AKs there, so that's going to give, um... Barpen, uh, hot, uh, you know what, Exantos, another one. Oh my god, Gillespie picks up a double kill in apartments. Nade and Flash coming out. Uh, rubber, smoke, oh my god, that's it. Uh, Tony, you're not really meant to run in front of your We friend. have an AK on the side, though. Yeah, Xerox. He's, but they know, they instantly know where oh, he is. Picks up that headshot. headshot. Can he pick up a second one? No. Oh, Xerox, very low. Ralio gets dropped as well. Problem is, they have to get the bomb plant. Why are they not trying to get this bomb plant? What what, what are you doing? I think they're looking before they try to do okay. anything. There it is, and he's gonna get an animal pick up around six six. Outstanding. So Hyper Exonic made a bit of a mistake there. Rather than uh, their rotations felt a little bit sloppy. We are gonna see timing pick up an op. AKs all around full by coming out for immortals. Uh, we've got two famouses. P90 and M4 is coming out on the side of Hyper Exonic. Now, both teams actually playing with subs. Uh, Dragon Lore on Toming because Toming's a rich bitch. I am going to call him that. And there we go. The minute he peeks, he's dead. Boom. No, dead. He, no missed. he missed. Toming. What is this? Oh. Shooting through the windows. Thornberg waiting for the flash. Going to push on. Going to check sandbags. Knows no one's there. Oh, and he knifed friend. his friend. Yeah, that's that's lovely. Spree didn't need his HP, Formberg. You know, didn't need uh, didn't need the HP. He just wanted to shut them anyway. So damage players on both sides. Looks like we are going to see the banana uh, push on to B. They have to now. They've flashes out. There's the second one. Smokes and CT. Flashes onto CT. They are looking for the push. Xerox is camping Xerox in the is corner. going to sit there in dark. And there he did a nice reaction. Going to pick up one. Goes down on second one, however. So it's a few on two. In favor of Hyper Sonic. I really want to see Hyper pick up this round. I want to see this go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I, really I don't want, want to. See it. And oh my god, Toming San. Thank you, son, but no thank you. Two on two. Toming's got to be very careful. Or rather, should I say, Gonza's got to be very careful. Does not want to be peeking around construction. Because... They but they need to hurry up, they have no kit. Yeah, but the point is, they all, all they have to do is back off, and there we go. As soon as he pushes, boom, one down, misses, doesn't matter, there is a second one, he's got to do something. Oh Aww. no, Immortals pick it up and take the lead for the 7th or ninth time in the game. So, 
Let's have a look. I want to see what the buys are going to be. Obviously, um, Spree actually didn't go down. He dropped a gun. You know that, right? Spree didn't die in that round and actually dropped a gun and he started without a gun. He had to buy that AK. Tut tut, Spree. So, uh, we're going to see nothing whatsoever. What, Deagle coming out on Xerox? Um, yep, they need to save for last round. Yeah. Last round. Yeah. <laughs> One, oh, nice oh, shot. two, he's going for it. Two. Oh my god, Zerk saying welcome to town, boys. I love it. Oh my god, 17 health on to Glisby. That's really good. I like this. Three on three. We've seen this before, though, haven't we? We've seen team... What was that? <laughs> seeing Tony throwing the AKs out so they can't get them. That's a smart Tony. play. Smart, it is smart play, but like it's really rude, really naughty, Tony. But it is smart play, right? Gillespie's got to be careful. I mean, he still has got his flashes, he's got his smoke, he's got his mollies. Nothing's gonna happen. See, walks into CT. You're actually shooting the wall, you know that, right? Um, Santos, I don't really like, think he realized that he was actually shooting the wall, but I actually think I mean, this, this is fine. For, this is totally fine for Hyper. All they have to do is sit there and wait out time because at 30 seconds, they're gonna to have to try and decide, do we make a move? And it looks like it's going to be a full push out back to oh, A. Oh, Rhino. Look this. Oh, he's picked up one. He picks up the second. No. And Terming oh, hate saving no. the game for them. I can't. Xerox, where are you? Can Xerox be this, the hero here? Come on, Xerox. He can't if he can get a one shot. I reckon he can. I reckon he can do it. If he gets the one, no, it's a, it's a, yeah, time is going to pick him up. Uh, you know what? I was so impressed with the double tap, um, down banana. I was like, yeah, come on. Can you be a savior? So, uh, last round of the half, it's 8-6 in favor of Immortals. However, that doesn't actually mean anything right now. This Let's see. The first AVP for CT is coming out now. Let's see if he can use it. Riding on board timing. Um, he's a bit late to the show. What are we doing? This is going straight down banana. He's going to look for car. Nothing. They're not even going to bother. They're just holding the ground. You know what? If Hyper Exonic can hold this round, or win it rather, this is going to keep him up. And there we go, picking up Glisby. They, wow, they actually pushed right out. Yeah, they want the info. Yeah. Because they and... know Glisby always standing there, so they were, were kind of waiting for Oh, him. smart play. Did you see that? He put the smoke, but rather than let the smoke down, Toman picks up um, yeah, uh, picks... Gonzi in uh, mid. That was great play by him. Looking into CT is timing as his teammates run right past him. And there we go. Boom. Misses. Now, the problem is misses. he's got to be careful. He's got nades. He should use them. Oh, he's got to be careful. Formberg giving all the time in the world there to get onto site. Slight problem here, though. Smoke's down. Flash is coming out. Ain't going to do enough. Um, what do Hyper Exonic need to do to get back on track? I mean, right now, they're not actually doing anything. They need to start pick, get, getting picks before they actually get to the sites. Yeah, and the problem is, rather than looking for the information, they just go out and die. 9-6 on, uh, on? Immortals. On? In favor of Immortals. That was very good indeed. Let's see if uh, Hypex Sonic got something special in the tower the side. I just want to press tab, if you can press tab so everybody can see it. Let's look at the scores. 17, 7, 14. Spree going to have to step up a little. Same with Rallyo. I mean, right now, look at the difference in scores. Well, you cannot really count anybody out. So yeah, all of them are capable of uh, doing, you know, Doing the stuff they need to be done, but it's hard when you if you get instant shut down each round. Because yeah. you maybe might be the entry fragger. But it looks like we're going to have a mid-push coming out from Hyper Exonic. I want to see them push this and execute it nicely. If they can get straight round to one to eight through the smoke. Not even looking. And oh my god. Toming didn't even pick up one. So there's them. Now he's going to oh. pick up one. He's going to pick up two. No one. No. He picks Got up on one. Look, they're all concentrated on Toming. They're not actually paying attention to what they needs to be done. One goes down. He's going to pick up one. Toming. Grand's I love how Toming's actually sitting back saying, you know what? Oh, what? Wait a minute, what's Xantos doing here? He's trying to push out. Uh, it's just him, he's got to do something. It's just Glisby. Can he pick the one up and pit? You know what? What he should do is try and force them to dive with the bomb. 
Oh my god, it's gonna go down though, and there we go. Hypertonic pick up the round. Great pistol round. So both teams have won a pistol round. Yeah, so Immortals. far. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so far, both of them have took a pistol round each. I like this. This is very good. And we might see a 9-9 score now because of the... Uh... Yeah, because of the buyers coming out. But we do have nades and flashes, and of course... Five servants. Taking out my ease. Um, why do... Why, what? Some, you know what? Someone's going to have to explain to me the point of decoys. Nobody falls for them. Anyway, we've got a boost coming out from Immortals on Formberg, up from the top of Banana. Well, if you, if you pl place down smokes and you place decoys around them, you... You can see a red dot on your map, and you cannot count if it's a player or, or a decoy. You cannot mm. know that. That's why they're getting used. Okay, Spray just luckily missed, because he would have headshot his teammate. And he's picked up uh, Ralio. This is not good. Oh my god. Wow! They Gonzi took way too long to actually pull the trigger there. So B it is, and B is going to get planted, so they're going to sit in banana behind sandbags. Rhino doesn't want to be too careful. He's got a duck. He's just going to wait wait this out. The only problem is, they will see... Uh, gun before if they're gonna check it. Spree have a gun actually, he might save it. See that's what I'm thinking, right? Right now, you're ahead. Don't worry about giving this extra round out. You know you can pick up the rounds, but however going into the next round uh, with a gun that you're gonna need, I don't see why not. Especially like a Gilel. I've got uh, Jay, uh, it's it's really good. Click control. Then you will see a map. Can you see it? C T is covering all the race they can come yeah. out. Like yeah. they're just locking them in. Yeah, and that's when banana into CT and the thing, and there you go, there goes the bomb, and oh, Hyper Exonic, uh, hold one. Oh my god, is Tony gonna pick up one? He does! Wow, I can't believe Tony picked that up. That was a nice hold, that was a nice uh, inbox rank for them. It was really good because they held out all the positions, they couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, and sadly they didn't have time to pick up their weapons, but they definitely got them off their enemies. Yeah, but 8 9. Um, I reckon if Hyper Exonic pick up this, because obviously uh, this has allowed Spree to actually buy. He's picked up the smoke, he's picked up a double flash, and he managed to get himself a nade as well. Nade's gone down. Uh, Xerox pushing out, he's got to be careful. Picks now, oh, he can pick up one and he spree. does, he picks up Spree. That's the problem though. Spree had the nades and everything. No. Now the nades are out. I think no timing's actually run out and got the uh, nades in that. So, uh... They didn't lose anything. Like... They just lost the player. Yeah. That is exactly, there's nothing on him. I actually think we're going to see a B push him through CT. Yeah, we are. So I hold on to the map. I'm looking, yeah, we are. All the way through. They come up through the second mid and want that. They're going to come from CT, go straight into either construction. However, uh, Glisby is holding construction with the Galil. And he look, pick him up. Tony and pick up one. Is he does? Yes, he does. Picks up one, one in dark. Doesn't matter. And the oh, CT's rotation is pretty slow because they haven't rated this. Turning just started now to rotate. Yeah, that's really slow on Tony's uh, behalf there. Tony's sitting in banana through the smoke. Uh, smoke's coming out on CT. Ralio's sitting into construction. I can't see him always picking this round up at all. This round is slight lift wait, for us. Wait a minute, you you dropped a P90 for a Galil? Yeah, the Galil is a better rifle. Oh, I I agree, but still. On Remem an offensive point? No. Im Im Inferno have a lot of uh, long winded angles where you want the stable rifle. And this is the problem, he doesn't want to walk out too much. Oh, he does go down. He's got to be very... <laughs> they lost two players to the bar. <clears throat> uh, Gonzo, just for the <laughs> record, you're not actually meant to kill Xerox. Xerox kind of needed to survive there. And a team kill. 9-9 nine, nine coming out for the score. Hyper Exonics 9, Immortals 9. Um, I think Xerox had died to the bomb anyway if he didn't. Had done it. Really? Yeah, he was on 11 HP. Oh, yeah, he was 11 HP. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So we're riding on board timing, looking down uh, into second mid. Well, actually, he's just ducking the nades and that. Doesn't want to do anything. I really want to know. Now we've got some sort of weaponry coming out for both teams. Full buys pretty much for both. Um, UMP on spree, which is still a good gun. But this, this is a decider round. Look the money. Yeah, that's what I'm just like. Uh, I was getting there, alright? Pongo, I was getting it. Take it from me. I was just <laughs> building up to it. Uh. Basically, what happens here is whoever wins this round has the opportunity to move forward uh, one or two rounds before the other team can come back. However, it's obviously first to 15, but oh, he's going to rally. What, what, what? Why did you move to the edge of the smoke like that? Simon picking up Ralio or Rhino. Uh, smoke coming out again. So, fire through because he doesn't know no one's there. However, they now know where he is. So, we've got Gonzi. 
Looks like Hyperxonic are going to rotate back towards B, coming up banana, and looks like Toming as well. Uh, is Now he's rotating fast. The problem is Gonzi's still sitting along on some top of mid. Uh, he's got to pick up. He picks up one. Raleo picking up, and this is going to be the entrance into it, surely. He's got to be very careful. He's spraying like madman, trying to get luck and pick. Two versus three, two versus two. Hypertonic needs to pick this up. And they get and a I, pick. I, I think they deserve it. To... They're playing really well. It's a, Actually, you know what? I'm going to say a little sloppy coming out from Immortals there. But I still like... Wait a minute. I saw a little sloppy from Hyperx, like they yeah, tried I was to gonna push say, before the smoke go sides, off to yeah, CT. On both sides, but we shall see, and there we go, 9, uh, Hyperxonic take the lead, again. So, uh, I do believe Xantos picked up the op, didn't he? Yes he did. There yes he did, he so did. So we got the AK coming out, uh, this is going to be an AK buy coming out from Hyperxonic. Uh, are we going to see... Deagle again. Yes, there we go, Toming, I love Toming, I really do, he, it makes me look good as a caster. I, it's like, I know what he's going to do, because i played with the guy so many times, it's like, yeah, he's going to go for a deagle. Watch. They're going to nade middle. Yeah, they're going to nade, and there he goes, nade's going to go down, they're going to rush down to, uh, oh, but you know what, Xerox says, you can come down, uh, Banana, but guess what, son, you did get headshot. And the problem here is Immortals are pushing in, but they're not actually, they're not going back to bases, you know, they're, they're not checking the corners. And this is going to cost him, oh, he's going to pick up one, Zero, uh, Spree goes down, Rallyo picking up the kill, this could put, uh, no, actually, Rallyo already had it, it was a full buy, wasn't it? So this is a. Get uh, come down and take I, a breath. What's a freaking thing? Nah, I don't want to take a breath. Why do you want to do it? Breathing's for the week. We are going to see smoke coming off the chimney. No, smoking no, over the lines. Yeah. Good. Oh, that weapon drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't need my weapon. I'm going to walk in there. It's totally fine. I'm a meteor anyway. However, it doesn't matter. And hypersonic pick up the win. So. Hyper Exotic need to win this map to stay in it. And I actually and think they got it. Right, so a lot of people ask me, what's the point of all the show matches? Well, let me explain. In the upcoming year, the brand new year, 2016, there will be a 12 or 16 week tournament uh, where we stream twice a week, uh, two games a week. Best of threes, uh, winner of the best of three takes three points, loser takes one point, and um, they will be a top two position, the top two will fight off for a chance to win 250 pounds. Which is, what, 300 euros or something like that? Something crazy? Whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And, of course, the teams will get trophies and certificates for uh, participating. I'm looking forward to it. It will be cast by myself and others who wish to participate and help. Uh, nade skill went back to the thing, and that nade was huge! Toming picking up a double kill. And In fact, you know what, that, just just ended, that flat out ended that round. That is absolutely crazy. Um, and there we go. Um, okay. AK in the hands of uh, Tony now. Formberg sitting on B. Bomb sitting down. Banana to bottom me. He's going to head up Banana. Problem is... He should He's save. got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to go. He should just probably save it. You've got a round to play with. Don't risk it. Just save it. If you can pick up another one, take out the uh, gun from the map, by all means, please do. But in this position, would you try to push it? You've got an op. Is it worth it? Oh, okay, that's that was a nice it. shot. But that's look. not worth it. Watch. He's not checking corners. Um, dead. And this is a problem. Does he pick up the second op? Yes, he does. Oh, no, because um, Tony didn't have the op, did he? No, um, they got to one op. Yeah, back. Toming did, and he died, yeah. And this is what I was saying, um, it was unnecessary. It was, you know, you've got an op. It, can you afford to buy an op this round? No, you can't. You already lost that other round. You've just got back in it. You're going to reset your money. You're just as well saving. And uh, doesn't look like it. Yes, you picked up the extra kill. Doesn't matter, though. Flash is coming out. And oh my god, Toming just shut down Exantos. Right on the board, Toming now. I want to see what he's going to do on this mid. Are we going to see another? Is this going to be just straight banana pushes? Toming feel it's going to be B. I like how he's using the uh, walkway. The cat walk. It's, it, it's really smart. Uh, is he going to smoke it off? Uh oh. 
Can we all just lol, just laugh at him? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't But that's a nice mod to have, just modeling off when they yeah, try to push. Basically what that was is, right, they're gonna, um, moke off, uh, CT, that's absolutely fine. Guess what? We don't need to worry about, oh my god. And Tomin, you know, he, he's fine, he's like, you know what, I don't need to worry about you guys. I can kill you. And, boom. Tomin picks up a 3k that round, outstanding, well played by him. Um, 11-11. Back and forth like we said it was going to be, and uh, you know I'm really enjoying this. This is really, really close. But your money is on who to win this. Immortals or Hyperxite? I think uh, Immortals will take it slightly as it is their map pick after all. It's favor Immortals uh, if you ask me slightly. What do you think, Jim? I'm hoping Hyperxite pick this round. I really am. I'm hoping as well, but... Uh, but Tomin's... Bit, oh my god, the nade into mid. Oh my god. The damage done. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. He's gonna sit here, one. He's gonna fall back. Clear all guys. Yeah, he doesn't need to. He can just sit there and shoot him. One, that's a second. Falls back even further. Oh, he goes down, puts up the op. But it doesn't matter. Guns, you've got nothing. You're gonna die. Good night. Good night. My god, how many... How often... Really? You can't... You can see him. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> what else did you want? <laughs> that took forever to kill. Um, Immortals taking the lead, 12-11. They should save a round more to get the AVP yeah, they want. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Right now you're playing for either uh, overtime or... No, wow. No save. AKs, this is... Oh, this is pretty dire. I don't think they realise that, you know, the overtime set to three rounds. I, I, oh no, this, uh, this could be a mistake. Hyperxonic have to win this round. This four, oh, it's going to completely reset their money completely. Flashes, good god, how many flashes did you want to throw that round? If Immortals win, lose this round, their money bonuses reset it as well. Mm, what is it, year six on? Yeah, it is. If you look, no, 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 Immortals are fine with money. It's, it's hyper exotic, it won't be. And the second one is going to pick up second. Oh my god, Tomin picking up a double kill. But you know what? Hyper need to do something, and they need to do something now. They did and this. There we go, this is their round. This is their round to throw. Glizby gonna try to come through, um, library. He's gonna get one shot, yes he is, there we go. Slight problem, he's gonna pick up the AK. Immortals need to win it to reset them, um, Hypertonic's money. They really do, and this is what they should do. Even if they're gonna go in and die, but it doesn't matter, they need to try to really take him out. And I can't see anything. Formberg stepping like a madman and picks up one. There we go. It's one man, and he's got to be careful where he wants to go. He sees one, he sees two. He went for the wrong one. He's going to go for it. He's going to try it. He's run out of bullets. No! And wait. He's he have time. He's he have time. Bomb. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was standing behind the bomb. Okay. That works. Valve. Fix. So, slight problem here. Hyperxonic. The money is very short. What are they going to do? Are they going to continue to force? Yeah, they have to. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this was. I mean, that last round they should have just took the save. Yeah, the last round. But now they definitely have to. Like, they cannot save for now. Oh, Tommy walking straight into it. Problem is, he's so low now. He's gonna uh, just back off. Yeah, but no low HP can still be dangerous if you're holding the right angle. Oh, absolutely. No, no doubts. Xerox um, being dropped, Toming on 12 HP, uh, problem is, uh, Varpin, 50 HP, what do you reckon? I would say they should try go for B, as they know, if they have pay been paying attention, they should be knowing that that's always, the, almost free. Right now, the rotation's already there, Spray's already kind of come out, right, so, Don should know where he is, there we go, boom. I would still recommend them for them to go B. I don't want them to take it, I think they need to get out to B. I happen to agree. If we look at the map right now, look. <laughs> that fake flash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tony and Pitt. Yeah, but you got the turning on site as well. Yeah, that's a, yeah, but Tony with 12 HP. That's a one shot. That's that's nothing to worry about. Literally, it's a one shot. Yeah, but at this level, can... it's a one shot. It doesn't matter how you look at it. Now we've got what, Bornberg and Glisby holding CT. CT in a very sneaky little position. I like that. Glisby, what are you doing? 
picks up the bomb cap. This is oh no, and immortals pick it up. And yeah, so, you know what? What I was saying earlier, that was the do or die situation, and this is it. They're totally broke. They cannot force buy. Uh, they had to have won that round when they brought. They could have went for it and tried to go for 15-15 for the overtime, but now with what they've got, P90 Galil, Galil, double AK, four flashes on the side of Hypersonic, they're going to need a uh, hope and a prayer to win this. Oh, immortal. No. Unless, of course, Toming wants to go and get himself killed. Close again. He still has the XP left. He's I'm pressing C. I'm looking at I'm Yeah, he's, he's 11 HP. I'm what? Toming? Well, it's nice he gathered a lot of info there, actually. Hmm. Runs out, he picks up one. Can he pick up a second? Yes, he does. Tony with the double kill. And like I said, do or die time, and not sure what that was, Spree. Nor was, nor am I sure what that was, Spree. <laughs> but, um, definitely looking in favor of Immortals for the simple fact, yes, you've got Toming on 11 HP. Yes, you have Tony on 20 HP. But the problem is, if you look at the map right now, you've got, he's going to have to, Gillespie's holding, uh, sorry, Rallyo coming up to mid. And watch this. We watch, as we watch Ralio sitting there, he's going to get shot down. Problem is, not against the P90. P90 is going to shred you, and there you go. Puts up an AK onto Varpin. So, pushing two different directions, I, I, I can't see this. I can't see this at all. It's going to be 2-0 to Immortals, I think. Um, I think right now, yeah, back off. You've, you've got try and save it. Because you can't go anywhere. You're, what, 12 seconds now? You've got nowhere to go. Save your weapons. Try to play the last round out. But, to be quite honest with you, this is going in favor of the malls. I think Immortal will take it. And I also predicted it. I mean, Galil, AK? Right, now, technically, last round, they've got nothing to lose but the game. So, Hypers aren't going to buy everything again. Uh, let's have a look at the boys from Boys in Blue. It is going to be same as before, M4, M4, AK, AK, and of course... We have uh, AK, Gali, Gali, and Scout and Gali for Hyperxonic. And not much utility to work with. I really like the blue titanium, just for the record. I really like that. It's a lovely gun. However, we've got, what, one in dark? looking at the map. It looks like we're going to have a creep up uh, banana. It's going to get smoked off. Lisby and Thornburg on site. Oh, Tomin picks up Rhino beforehand. Oh, he's not going to look. What are you doing? It didn't even get a chance. And that is it, ladies and gents. That, that should will be, be Yeah, I, I can't see. I literally can't see them picking up. I'm riding on board Tony now. He's going to look for uh, the last one. Well, I'm, and he, I'm... I'm riding sensors to see if he can do something. They have the bombers run, it's a 5 on 1. None of the Immortals players are damaged. And they still have a lot of utility to work with. Oh, he's walking into... Oh my god, he... Oh my god, he doesn't... Wait, for it. he's looking. Picks up one. And now they know where he is. Yeah, but the problem is, he knows where they are. Bomb, he's picked it... Oh my god. Xantos, come on. Oh, oh there we go, GG. Well played, 2-0 to Immortals, Hyper Exonic. What a close game. Yeah. So um, the first round wasn't that close to the first map, but the no, second but map was, was definitely but close. You know what? I'm happy for the simple fact is I don't have to cast Dust 2, and I sure as hell don't have to cast... Um, wait, what? We get drops? Ooh, yeah, like you this. get drops. Oh, let's go TV, you know. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching IMGGJ. He's Bongo. This is Fade Media. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. You can check out us on social media. All the links are below in the description. Check them out. I will see you 